Wednesday, Highgate Ostrich Show Farm. We really were getting out of our depth this time. We looked at this route on Google Earth and thought, oh look, we can go down that little back road. I think it's lucky you're not reading about this in the papers. Maybe it wasn't the smartest move, but it was fun with hindsight. First up though, everything you need to know about an ostrich. They only have the two toes. Okay, oh. The big one they walk, small yeah, one for fluffy. balance. Okay, and if you that joint there, in a, in a half, halfway, uh -huh. that's the ankle. And best cooked, medium rare. Show how strong eggs ostrich are. eggs are. And you can see standing on them and they take a human body weight. But really the most important thing and a wonder of evolution is that only the male can talk and then they mate for life. So they mate for life, only the male can talk, you know, just saying. These guys who are born black, they stay black. They stay black. Okay. Like the white ones, they stay white. Yeah. And then they become a pie. Okay, that's plenty. Time to hit the road, wherever it takes us. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeling this These little black dots on the field, they're baboons running away from us. Fortunately, because they'll chew your arm off. Never seen that before. I didn't know they get baboon farms. Look at them. They're massive. Oh, and at the bottom there's an ayala. A grey. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Shoot. Oh, oh, they're all running now, away. Baboon's over. We continued on. The track was getting a bit rougher and a bit narrower and then a bit narrower and then, oh dear. Well, we no longer know where we are. And we had a choice back here and we feel like we won this. 35 degrees. We've gone for 62 kilometres and we haven't seen another vehicle since the quarry and this is our first gate ever. Can we get through at that? Now we have to close the gate. And see that. Officially, completely lost. <laughs> sure, it says the last people here might have been road trekkers, but I doubt it because I can see vehicle tracks. So it's going somewhere, we just don't know where. A lot of poop. A bit of, we don't know what lion poop looks like, but we don't think it's lion poop. And we haven't seen anything else. If we can read that, Guuretz Cluster Biosphere Reserve. Close the gate, and I think we might possibly be back on a road again. So now we've hit the main road <laughs> to Van Hickstor at the roadside, so at least we know that there's a town at the end of this. Well, we actually were kind of lost. Hadn't got a clue, nothing on the map, nothing on the GPS. So, soldiering on, off we went. And here was us thinking this was the main road. Oh, there's a farm down there. I'm getting this. 
Wow, that was some curve. Back up to 37.5 degrees. The drop of the top of the temperature just nearly there, but I can see a vehicle. This is it looks like the entrance to somebody's Hold the front page, no skeletons found. We made it to civilization and had a drink with Coke and eyeballs, and I had something that I last saw on Star Trek. We stopped for a quick lunch, and I think these might be pomegranates. See something different every day. The mountains continue to impress, and if this was Table Mountain, that would be its tablecloth coming down. But what it does signify is that blowing across this road in about 20 minutes is going to be about 40 knots. Hang on to your hats, ladies. Finally, we made it to Barrydale for a night of relaxation. So how was your day, darling? <laughs> Challenging. Challenging. Not least of all, the howling gale as we came over the pass at the end. For about an hour, we had to hold on to the bike. But now we're here, in Sandy's place. There's the oak tree and the shell catering and the towels and the beds. Oh, it's lovely. I'm just glad to be here. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> and you want to do it on these tyres? That's the second time the guy said that. This is supposed to be the enhanced rugged off-terrain step up that we made and Yako that we met middle of the pass kind of looked at these and thought amateurs Good morning, it's Thursday the 23rd maybe of February and we're setting off again for our last trip back to Cape Town on the 62 we're currently in Barry Dale keep getting that wrong, Barrydale, and the view is quite nice from here. Uh, this is the pool in Sandy's place, and if you come alongside of the pool, you get the mountains. And as you can tell, it's a bright sunny day. Obviously, quite an old town. Town squares and old buildings. Well, here we are at a vineyard on the way to Villers Drop from Worcester. Stop to stretch her legs. Very poor. This is what you really love as a motorcyclist. All the car drivers having a couple of glasses of wine for lunch. I'll just throw them all in a slammer. Closer to home, we get to Franchoke and the Franchoke Pass. This is where you come if you've got a sport bike and nothing to do on a Sunday morning. You thrash up here.
that's plenty. This is how you do it on a sport bike. Or if you were 20 years younger. Goes up, must come down, and this is us making our way back down the hill into Franschhoek. Pretty impressive scenery, eh? You could be in France or the Alps or phew, New Zealand or even sunny Glencoe. So that took us down into Franschhoek, home and a refreshing little glass of wine. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a bit of a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, because there's more coming. As Josh takes us out into the wilds of the Tangwa Karoo.